Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my fourth video on uh, Veggie Patch in Perth. Um, today we're going to go through planting a fruit tree and um, also just a quick spin around the patch, just uh, checking up on how things are going and see how um, yeah, a few things that I've planted out this week, how, um, how they've been doing. Um, yeah, so first off we'll go with um, planting a fruit tree. Um, what you need to do firstly is um, lay out where you want your plant um, and then mark a hole about twice or three times larger than the diameter of the pot that you're planting. Um, the, re the reason for this is because if you live anywhere like I do in Perth, the soil is really poor. I can think of other words to use, but I'll just say um, basically it's great beach sand and if you just plant your um, plant straight in that hole uh, and make it exactly the same size, the roots when they spread out are going to go straight into poor soil and they won't grow so you need to give a bit of a helping hand and um, yeah just make sure it goes into good soil so mark it out three times the size twice three times the size and make sure depth that, that, that it's uh, going to be deeper so start digging dig your hole um, make sure that you go deeper than what you anticipate to plant so then also the roots going down go into good soil as well um, once you've uh, dug out your hole, the next thing to do is to make a good mix of soil. So you can buy, I suppose, ready-made blends of soils or, or, or that sort of stuff, but I find the simplest way, the most economical way, is just to get a bag of uh, mushroom compost, for starters. Put that in a wheelbarrow, about half or maybe a third of a bag, about that. Then um, manure, next. Um, and just put in about half a bag of that, half a bag of manure, and then top it up with the soil that you've just taken out of the hole. Um, and then give that a really good mix. And then that is a good blend. By putting in the, the soil that was originally in the hole, you're um, sort of stretching it out, you may as well say, so you get more, more soil out of your, just your manure and your compost, and it works out a bit more cost effective. Um, yeah, so your next step is then to um, shovel that into the bottom of your hole um, and bring it up to the, the depth of your, your desired height that you want to plant, making sure that you do not uh, make the hole so that the plant is uh, sitting below the graft. If you do that, you, you'll run into all sorts of trouble. So yeah, just make be careful that the, the plant sits above, uh, the graft sits above the, the soil line. Um, yeah, then, then place your, um, take it out of the pot, plant, put it in, loosen up the, the, um, the roots a bit, that'll help, and um, yeah, then just uh, keep shoveling in all the rest of your mix, um, give it all a good pat down, and um, that's it, it's, uh, it's as easy as that, and that, that'll give your plant a real good head start, and um, you should not have any, hopefully, any troubles from there on in. Um, okay, so then I just um, also have uh, drip irrigation, so that just quickly loop that back over the top and then the wire, if you see those around my trees, the only reason I've got that is to um, stop chickens getting in. If there's good soil, no doubt there'll be worms, like I found some um, just digging around today, and uh, yeah, the chickens will find them no matter, no matter. Yeah, they'll find them. They'll find them easily. So you're best off if you've got chickens. Just put a little fence around your trees, and um, that'll stop stop them getting in and uh, digging up your plants. And uh, that's it. 